Let's do this. I'm Rish Lakish. Rish Lakish says, Arba Dvarim. There are four things that Ha'isa, Isam, anyone that does them, Dame Bereshe. His uh, blood is on his head. And he's like forfeiting his own life. It's a. <coughs> He's deserving of death. In other words, he's not uh, he's not careful. Elohim, these are the these four things. The first one is Hanifna bin Dekala Kaisal, someone that relieves himself in between a palm tree and the wall. Okay, so between the palm tree, the Gemara is going to explain each one of these things, what's the issue and when it uh, basically we're concerned over here about Ruach Ra. Yeah, some sort of evil spirit. Someone that goes between two palm trees. Someone that drinks borrowed water. And someone that um, that steps over water, that wastewater, water that was spilt out. Even if he saw his wife uh, pouring the water out, he shouldn't walk over that. Okay, now we go back to discuss these four these four dangerous activities, dangerous for Ruach Ra. Hanifna mein dekala kaisel, someone that relieves himself between a palm tree and the wall, unless they are Bahamas, that's only, if it's a tight squeeze, you don't have four Amas in between um, the tree and the wall so that the, the demon that's going to try to get through while he's relieving himself is going to cause harm to him. Avalis layar Bahamas, but if there's four cubits there, there's four cubits, then less lamba, that's no problem. The demon can get by. And even if there isn't four amas, but if you have another path, then there's no, there's no problem. He'll see it's blocked, he'll go around the other way. He passes between two palm trees. That's only if they're not on two sides of the street, you're allowed to drive down the street and there's trees on the side and you walk between two palm trees. The, the, the demons don't have permission to harm people in public places. So if it's in the street, it's no problem. Uh, that's not a problem. Someone that drinks borrowed water. That's only if a child borrowed the water. I don't know what he means, borrowed water. I guess he means he's going to pay it back. Um, not Obviously not the same water. But if it's an adult, it's not a problem. If adult borrowed it. And even if it was a child, this is only said in a field where water isn't common. But in a city, it's not a problem. And even in a field, that's only water, which would be a problem. But if it's wine or beer, it's not a problem. I guess the Ruach Ra also wants the water. So it's going to be hanging out uh, by the water and you're borrowing it. Or, and uh, maybe it can take some sort of possession over it. And then um, if there's not enough, then it could cause harm. Someone that walks over spilt water. That's only if you didn't uh, sprinkle dirt on top of the spilt water. And there isn't floating on it. Uh, spit. I guess the demons would be hanging out in this water also until there's dirt on it or spit in it. This is only said if the sun didn't pass over it. Um, I'm sorry. That's only if the sun didn't pass over it. And 60 steps didn't go on it. But if 
if the sun went, that means if it was there during the day, over a day, or people walked on it, 60 people walked on it, so then it's not a problem. This is also only a problem if you're not riding a donkey and you're not wearing shoes. And if you, but if you are we're, uh, riding a donkey wearing shoes, there's no problem here. We would tell you only that don't worry about it. That's only if you don't have enemies or people that are trying to harm you. But if you have enemies and there are people that are going to do witchcraft on you, so then even though you have all of these um, uh, these limitations that are in place, that you're wearing shoes and you have the people stepped on it and there's uh, water and there's uh, dirt and spit and all of that, and you have to always be concerned. Actually, I don't know if it goes all the way back to that. I mean, you only go back to the shoes and the steps. Because it says, Kahu Gavra, there was a person, the Rachav Chamra Vasayim Masani, he was riding his donkey and he was wearing shoes. The Gamad Masani, his shoes shrunk, with Savukari and his uh, foot, his or feet, Kare, and his foot, no, his, and his, his feet dried up. I don't know if it's feet or foot. Um, yeah, so apparently, even if it's even if you have those limitations in place, but if there's someone that wants to do witchcraft on you, so um, you still have, you should be concerned about this. Yeah, I don't have any comments. My only comment is uh, don't hang out under a um, coconut palm. <laughs> Otherwise, I have no, uh, I have nothing to add. Okay, so Tanur Abanan, start in Nebraisa. Shleisha ein mematzin, v'lein mismatzin. Three things you shouldn't allow to pass, you shouldn't pass between them and don't allow them to pass between you. You don't, a mimatsin means that they shouldn't pass through you. And mismatsin means you shouldn't pass through them. Hey, Luhain, hakelev, a dog, that means you don't let a dog walk between you, between two, two people, and you don't walk between two dogs. Vahadekel, or two palm trees, you don't walk between them. Vahisha and a woman or two women, you don't walk between two women, or you don't walk, let a woman walk between two men. Some say also a pig. Some say also a snake. Don't walk between two snakes. <laughs> Good advice. Um, yeah, or let a snake walk between two people. It, it, we're not concerned about danger. This is all spirit, all uh, evil spirit. And if you did pass, or if they did pass through, so then what do you do? Amar of Papa Niftach Bekel Vanafsek Bekel. There's different interpretations here. You say a phrase that starts with the word Kel and ends with the word Kel. Now, the Rashbam and Rashi say that this is referring to in the in the blessings. Uh, the, Attempted curses of Bilam. Kel meitiam in Mitzrayim kasayof by Yisraelim lai kileinachesh biyakov lekesim by Yisrael kesi yom liyakov liyisrael mapal kel. That that pasuk or those uh, two pesukim, per chav gimel pasuk chav beis and chav gimel starts with the word kel and ends with the word kel, and it's actually talking about that there's no sorcery in amongst the Jewish people, so that's a perfect um, perfect match. For this, inami niftach belay benafsek belay, or else you start with the word lie and you finish with the word lie. Yeah. So what would that mean if you're following this? Um, so then over here it would mean lehibitav and biyakov. I think. Hmm. 
No, lo yishkel v'yechazev. Where is that? Yeah, it's a pasuk before that pasuk you test. Lo yishkel v'yechazev and adam yisnecham alhu amar v'layas v'dibe v'lo yekimena. So that's it. Yeah, v'lo yekimena. It doesn't really end in the law. It ends with v'lo yekimena. All right. You see, if you go further, then it doesn't end with the word loy with an aleph. It ends with the word loy with a vav. It says um, you'd end up with kaseya peisreim loy. That's the wrong, wrong, wrong loy. That's a... okay. So you you say something that starts either with the word kel and ends with kel, or, or the word uh, loy and ends with the word loy. Honey betray. The word if there's two people, the matzah lehu isha nida. That a uh, woman that's that's a nida walked between. Im tchilas nida sehu. If it's the beginning of her nida, so then heregas echad miam. One of them is going to get killed. She kills one of them. So im seif nida sehi. If it's the end of her nida, then merivai sebineim. Then she causes the two of them to to argue, to make a fight. Maita kante. What's the solution? Niftach bekel v'nafsek bekel. You say these verses that start with kel and finish with kel. You got to keep this, uh, keep a card on you. <laughs> got to make an app <laughs> for the to say the recite the verses. Okay. Now it says hani trei nashi the yasim parshas If you see two women that are sitting on the crossroads. One is on one side of the road, one's on the other side of the road. And their faces are turned to each other. Maybe selling flowers <laughs> or something. They're definitely doing witchcraft. Yeah, I guess on the people that are passing by, that's what they're, that's what they're doing there. So what should you do? Well, the first thing is, if you see another uh, route, so take that route. Be like a dark achina. If there is no other way, then if there's another person that's together with you, uh, hold, hold hands and pass through. If there is no one else there, you should say the following. Those are names of demons. You, you, you call out to the demons, I guess. Miskatla bechek kibel or bechets. Igeris um, Azlas Asia and Belusia have been killed by the, with an arrow, and that's uh, that's like a protection. Haiman the Pagab Itza, if a person he, he uh, meets a woman or he comes across a woman, be in the Salkam Tvilas Mitzvah, she's coming out of the mikvah, out of the Tvila. I don't know if it means dressed or not. Iu Kadim Umeshamish, if now there's like a race. Um, or actually, it's the opposite of race. If he has uh, relations first before the woman, then the spirit of immodesty will come over him. If she's the one that has the relations first, then the spirit of immodesty will come over her. So, what's the solution for this? You say the following verse from Tilim. He pours contempt on the the divim, or the uh, nobles, and they wander in waste, in emptiness, without a without a road. Okay, yeah, I think they people are careful not to not to go by uh, mikvahs or, or something. I mean, those uh, go the other way <laughs> if you have another route. Didn't Rabbi Ishmael purposely stand by the mikvah? Yeah, Rabbi Yechanan. Rabbi Yechanan. Yeah. yeah, but that's an exception. Yeah. Amar, yeah, besides for the security guard, it shouldn't be, uh, it shouldn't be anyone there. Amar Rabbi Yitzchak, my dixiv, what's the meaning of the Pasuk? Gam ki yelech, the gates al mavis, even when I go in the in the valley of the shadow of death, la yira ra, I won't be um, afraid of evil, kiati madi, because you're with me. 
זה היה שם בצל דקל יחידי ובצל לבנה. This is someone that sleeps in the shade, in the shadow of a single palm tree or in the shade, in the shadow of a wall. I'm sorry, the shadow of the moon, um, Rashi adds in, or if he's even not sleeping, if he's walking by the wall, that the uh, moon um, is creating a, a shadow there. So that's also dangerous. That's at Rashbam Antonio. But tell Dekel Yechidi Leyamar and all the life of Tula de Chavri Levei. He's sleeping, I guess, in the shadow of a palm tree. Now, I don't know if that means along the length of it. And, but if there is another palm tree that is giving shade over it, so then that's, that's okay. I think the demons are hanging out in the shade. Yeah. Yeah, uh, 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 the past month, uh, a bunch of times I go outside, I see someone was in my car. So uh, I don't have a lot in the car, but uh, so I put in a big light. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. But anyway, they they hang out in the shade, the demons. And um, but if there's another uh, shady area, or another palm tree that's over there, then they'll 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 go to that one. So that's okay. If there's another deco. So. Um, Tula Tula means the cell, the shade. If there's no shade of its friend on him, on, on it or him. But if there is another palm tree that's casting shade, um, so then that's okay. One second. We have a b'raisa that says that someone that sleeps in the shade of a single palm tree in a courtyard, it adds in that word, and that's going to throw us off here. Or someone that sleeps in the shade of the moon, so his blood is on his head. Hey, what's the case? If you say that there's no other other uh, palm tree that's casting shade, I feel of a southern army, then why are you saying only in the courtyard? That's a problem even in the field, a single. It must mean that we're saying that in the courtyard, then even if there is shade coming from another palm tree, it's a problem. Shmamina, yeah, you see that uh, you should be careful with this. That in the courtyard, there must be a problem even if there's two shadows, even if there's a shadow of another palm tree that's crossing. Really, the problem of the moon is only at the end of the month. So the moon is on the, is on the east. And it's casting its shadow onto the west. So if you're on the west side of a wall, then you're going to be in the shadow. But if you're on the east side of the wall, it's not a problem. However, at the beginning of the month, then you can you can uh, you can um, sleep by the east side the, by the west side of the wall also. No, on the beginning of the month, it's on the west. So it's casting its shadow on the east. On the east side, it's not a problem even to sleep on that side of the wall. That's what it seems. Okay. Hi, man. The mafni agirda the dikla achdale ledidei ruach palga. Someone that relieves himself on a stump of a palm tree. So he brings on himself Ruach Palga. Ruach Palga apparently is some sort of um, uh, a splitting headache, a migraine. See another one, another sort of migraine coming up. Haiman de Matsli Reisha Gede de Deklach Le Ruach Tzrada. His head on a stump of a palm tree. He brings on himself a, a migraine. Ruch Tzrada, as uh, Rashi says, is a pain in half the head. Yeah. 
Apparently, this is not the uh, giving tree. What is that what it's called? The giving tree? No, what was his? Uh, Shel Silverstein. It's just good for a good stump. So, um, Haiman de Pasia Dikla. Someone that walks over a a, uh, a palm tree. E Mikdal Katil. If it was cut down, so then he's going to die. E Akesh. If it was uprooted, he'll be uprooted and die. That's only if he didn't put his foot on it. But if he put his foot on it, then it's fine. I guess when he walked over it, to actually step on it. Okay. There's five shadows. Tula de Dikla, Yechida, Tula de Kanda, Okay, five shadows. <laughs> One of the Bachim and Yeshiva was trying to say, if you have four, di- uh, four dimensional object, what was he going to say? He says, is, is it, will the shadow be three dimensional? I, I don't know where he's coming up with these things, but it's making everyone crazy. Okay, so if you, there's five, five types of shadows. One is a, um, a shadow of a single palm tree. That's number one. Another second one is uh, the shadow of a kanda tree. I don't know what a kanda is. It's a type of tree. Tula de parcha. The third one is the shadow of a caper bush. Tula de, zar- de zardesa. We've always translated zardesa as a crab apple, but uh, maybe something else. I don't know. Ikadamri af tula de arba. Some say also the um, shadow, the, the shade of a boat. Vitula da Arbasa in the shade of a, a, a willow tree, a rava. Okay, so those are the five, plus possibly a, a boat, which would be six. Klala de Milsa, the rule is like this call the nafish on anything that has a lot of branches, but kashi tula. If it has a lot of branches, the shade is not good. It's funny that the, um, the palm tree is considered a lot of branches. I mean, that's like, uh, you know, there's just one stem, one uh, trunk. It's only on the top. So, but I guess on the top, it has a lot of branches. So. We call the Kashi Silve, anything that's hard wood, Kashi Tule, it's, it, this has to be even ore because the palm trees are not hard, a hard wood. So it's, uh, it's shade is bad. Labar Mikrumasa, Mikrumasa, besides for this tree, apparently, um, it could be hard wood also, but it's not dangerous. That I forgot the Kashi Silve, like Kashi Tula, even though the wood is hard, its shade is not harmful. The Amr Lashid Lebre, because they overheard, I guess, the demon telling the son, telling the demon son, Pirchi Nafshach Mikrumasa, get away from the uh, Krumasa tree. Do you the Katala Vuch, the Katala Dide? It's killed your, your father and will kill, can kill you. Yeah, so hardwood is apparently bad. Then we're saying, besides for this tree, that uh, this one harms demons. Amar Ravashi, Chazina Laravkana, the Parish Mikulatuli. I saw Ravashi, he goes away from all. I'm sorry, Ravashi says, I saw Ravkana. He doesn't go for any shade, doesn't uh, go under any shade, any shadows. Yeah, that's probably good that <laughs> at night. Uh, let's walk in the middle of the street where the lights are. Uh, <laughs> no, no dark alleys. Bay Parche is Ruche. Okay, what's Bay Parche? Bay Parche is the demon that hang around by the caper bush. Their name is Ruche. These are the, uh, the ones that hang around the, the demons of the crab apple, Shida. Their name is Shida. They agree. Uh, it means roofs. The ones that hang around the roofs is Rishbi. That's the name. Lamai Nafkamina. Like, what are we sending them, uh, you know, a postcard? What's the difference? He says, no, the Kameya. If you're writing a Kameya, an amulet, that's a protection, you have to get it right. So you have to know the name. Bay Parche, 
the, the ones that hang around the caper bush is a bear yashain la'inayim. They don't have eyes, they're blind. What's the difference if they have eyes or not? Well, lixuzi like. I guess lixuzi means to lixuzi. Lixuzi mine. Supposed to be. The Rashbam has. To run away from it. You can run You can run away from it because it doesn't have eyes. Zim nechadav is also tzur merabana lefnuye lebe parchi. One time there was a tzur merabana, a, a yeshiva student, or a, a young Talmud Chacham. That went to the relieve himself next to a caper bush. He shamad the kaasiel of it. He hears that the, that the demons are coming. The gazla and he ran away from it. Kiazla when he went chavke ledikla, it grabbed onto a palm tree. Tavach dikla upaka he or upaka. It thought I guess it, it thought that the palm tree was this talmud chacham. It grabbed onto the palm tree. The palm tree the, um, shrunk, shriveled up, and now, paka either means that the demon died or the palm tree died. Whatever the case is, he got away from it. I'm sorry? We had this language yesterday, but... Yeah, we had this. Paka, he. Paracha de Bezardesa. That word paracha can't be there. After the grot takes it out. Okay, the Bezardesa. The uh, the demons that hang out by the crab apples, sorb. Some say it was shida. Is uh, its name is shida. Hazardisa this micha lamasa leipachsa mishitin shidi. This um, tree, if it's close, that's close to the city, has no less than sixty demons that hang out over there. Lamaynaf kamina. What's the difference? How many demons there are there? The mechta of like kameya, the right a kameya, you have to get it right. Ahu bar kasha demasa the ozel the koy gabi gazardesa da visamach lamasa. There was a ruler or a policeman or something, shaiter, some official, some important person that was um, of a city that was standing next to a, uh, a crab apple tree. It was near the city. So 60 demons came on him. Vistakin, his, his life was in danger. He went to a young uh, student that didn't know that there's 60 demons that, that, are, that are on him. So he only gave him a, an amulet for one demon. So now he hears that there's a celebration going on in the tree. The Kamashu, he hears the demon singing. The Kamashu Hachi, the singing the following. Your scarf looks like it's a, it's a sage, it's, a, it's a, 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 the scarf of a scholar. But we checked out the scholar and he doesn't know how to say Baruch. What, which Baruch? So the Rashbam says he doesn't know how to say the Bracha on the clothing, which is Baruch Haiti Yisrael Besifara. But we say all the brachas in one go, but they used to say a bracha as they got dressed. Oizi Yisrael the Gura was when they put on their belt. Oizi Yisrael the Sifar was when they put on their hat. Um, so here, I guess the hat, I guess the scarf went over the head. So it says that he, that's how he was wearing the amulet. They said that he doesn't know what he's doing. Also, Umir Abana, the Yad, desired the Sashitin. There was one rabbi that read this page of uh, Psachim uh, 111. He knew that there's 60 demons there. So, Shitin Shidi. Kasala Kameya, the Shitin Shidi. So, he wrote a amulet for 60 demons. Shama the Kamro, then this um, policeman, I guess, says, Pana, he, hears, he he overhears the demon saying, Pana Manaycha Mehacha, let's get our um, Kalim out of here, let's get our uh, our utensils and let's let's move. We have to, we can't stay here. So apparently that worked. Ketev Meriri. Yeah, this is the name of a demon. However, Trey Kitvi Havi, the Gemara says, there's actually two Ketevs. Chad Mikami Tarav, Chad Basatir. One that comes before noon and one comes after noon. One comes in the morning, one comes in the afternoon. Mikami Tira, the one that comes in the morning, Ketev Meriri Shmai. The name is Ketev Meriri. Umechsi Bekada de Kimcha Vahadabe. 
بخشه یعنی که بخشه نهایت راستی من This is in Hazim Yeah Katim Riri the same by him as Shalom that's this is the a quote over there So it says that you could see this demon in a jug of kuta kimcha kimcha is kuta it's the this um uh, like yogurt sour milk um, um bread crumb salty dish that they would use to dip and i when you would see it in there and it looks like it's spinning around like a spoon that's spinning in this dish the buster here the one that comes in the afternoon ket of yashitsarayim shmai go to another pasik this is the one from the afternoon umexi be karna de izav hadbe kanafia it's spins around in the horns of goats and it looks like a sifter i guess it's uh, as it spins abaya havishak vazal abaya was coming and go and walking vazal rav papi me mina rav huna braid rav yishua mismali these are two students of abaya rav huna braid rav yishua is on his left kazia luket of mirir the kasilapi the smala um he sees the demon is coming to his left so a hadri la rav papa la smala rav huna braid rav yishua mina so he switches them he puts rav papa on the left so amale rav papa no maishnad le khashli you not you don't what am I uh, chopped liver? You put me in the <laughs> right in front of the demon. So someone like Ad Shaita Kaimalach. No, you are wealthy. So your muzzle is shining. They're not going to be able to harm you. I guess when the muzzle is shining, it shines in all areas. The person, um, person that's wealthy. So he also has chachma, and he also has he's protected and everything. It all shines together. That's what they joked. If there's a wealthy man, everyone used to ask him for advice. When he lost his uh, his money, so he said, I understand I lost my money, but my chachma I still have. How come no one's coming to me? <laughs> but apparently, um, <laughs> could be, can lose the, if it shines it all together. So. And they say, if you want advice, ask for money. If you want money, ask for advice. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So he's telling Rav Papa that because you're wealthy, you're protected. Michad b'tamah is at Shitzer Bay. Badei Shchichi. From the first of Tamas until the sixteenth. Badei Shchichi. It's that's a that's a dangerous time. The, the over there, that's when the captives are around. We can't be elach safek shchichi safek leish shchichi. After that, it's unclear if it's how common it is. Mishtaki betuli de chatzva, de le chatziv garmido, betuli de tzafru pani, de le havi garmido. Okay, there's this type of grass. It's called a sequel. It grows very straight and it has strong roots. And they would plant it along the border because it was, it was a good uh, land marker to, to show like where a person's border of his uh, territory was. Um, so if one of these has grown less, grown less than an amma, and the shadow of it is less than an amma in the morning and in the in the in the in the evening. So that's where the, the this demon hangs out. The ikar betule the basic basic kise, but mainly they're found in the shadow of in the in the bathrooms. Amrav Yisef Rav Yisef says, "Hani tlas mili yar varvuna lenahira." The following three things give blindness to the to eyesight. Man the shorek reisha yavish, someone that combs his hair when his hair is dry. Mandashasi tif tif, someone that drinks from the drip of a bucket, of a barrel, probably drink to wine. Yeah, Rashi says Rosh Mamsi is wine. Mandamasai masani ademais ne kari, someone that puts on his shoes when his feet are still wet. Yeah, you have to tell tell the kids to dry themselves off before they get dressed. So. Tali bebeise. If you have things that are hanging in the house, kashi laniyusa. That's bad for um, for for poverty. That could cause poverty. Kadamniyenchi tala silta tala mazaini. He hangs a basket. He hangs his parnasa. Vleyamar nala rifta. This is only about. Um, this is only with bread. 
Aval bistra vikavri less than the but uh, meat and fish, that's not a problem. Why? Orchi, that's very common to hang it up. They would hang up the meat in the in the uh, in the fish. Pari be basic kasilani yusa. Bran in the house is bad for poverty. Nishaira be basic kasilani yusa. Crumbs in the house is bad for poverty. We had this Kamar in Khulin, if you remember. It was a demon of poverty that wanted to make someone um, poor. But the person was always careful to clean up the crumbs. One time, the Gemara says he was eating on a on a dirt floor. He wouldn't be able to clean it up. He wouldn't be able to in the grass or something. So what he did was he took the whole. The demon was all happy. Now I'm going to get him. But instead, he took all the dirt all together and he threw it into the. He got rid of all the crumbs. So, the crumbs in the house is bad for for poverty. Belayli Shabbos, Belayli Rubias. Especially Friday night and Tuesday night. So there's demons. So they could come uh, around the crumbs. That's why usually we don't go out, right? That's why it says the rain and the right time is on Friday night and Tuesday night, right? Because the demons are not. Isra de Mizaini Nakich the angel that's over wealth. Over Parnassa, the name is Nakid. Now, Nakid um, is similar to the word Naki, which means clean. So the angel of wealth is cleanliness. His, his name is cleanliness. Isura Isra Daniusa Nabushme. The the um, angel of poverty. The name is Novel. Novel, it sounds like dirt. It means uh, dirty, like uh, novella is like gross. So, Puma de Chatzva, okay, so I guess the point of that was that um, a clean house will have um, the angel over wealth would like to live in there. And the dirty house, the angel over poverty would just come to build there. Yeah. <laughs> Mooch the messy, right? With that little book, yeah. <laughs> moved to my mess. So, uh, okay, this doesn't mean that we have to tell the wives to clean my. This is <laughs> the Gemara is not suggesting that. They'd be suggesting uh, that uh, we get another maid or something. If not, uh, they work hard enough. So, a puma de chatz for kashel a a plate on the top of a. Um, on, on the top of a of a chatzva, a, like a, a a bucket. That's bad for poverty. Man the shasi maya, the tzi kasha lebarkusi, lebaruksi. Someone that drinks water from a plate. So the tzi, the tzoi, then that's um, that's bad for eyesight. Causes eye pain. The achal tachli v'le mashti yade. Someone that eats tachli, it's a type of um, green vegetable, I think, cress, something like that. Mafchid plus Nyaman, he's going to be afraid for 30 days. He won't even know why is what he's afraid about. Okay, let's leave it right there.